I think we can comfortably say that that was probably the fastest bike change ever in, in modern cycling. Quattro tour de France, due volte a Spagna, un giro d'Italia, sul podio i giochi olimpici, una presenza ormai quasi fissa del Tour of the Alps, vi chiediamo un grande applauso per Chris Froma! Just got in after finishing day four of two of the Alps. Breakaway just didn't go even over the first um, seven seven k climb. Quite a bit of strong headwind, so no one no one could really just break that chain and get away. We desperately wanted to have someone in there today, so we we were doing everything we could to try and control the race. A small move slipped away. Probably like eight guys. Uh, we didn't have someone there, so we we got on the front, helped to close that down. Bahrain weren't happy with it either. They're they're the race leaders at the moment. They, they weren't happy with it because there was there was someone from GC, I think, just two minutes down. Um, so they 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 didn't want to have to chase all day. So they, they they helped us close that and started up the racing again, only to um, have a massive pile up on on the descent off that off that big climb. It must have just been a few wheels in front of me, I think. Um, touch of wheels somewhere and guys hit the deck and there's, there's just there's nothing you can do I mean I pulled my brakes as hard as I could but you just go piling in on top and um, I stood up in the middle of the road my bike was off over the barriers at the side I had to go and find my bike thankfully it didn't hurt myself too much just small scrapes and bruises I did hit my neck um, I sort of twisted my neck quite hard and left me feeling I, I, think, I think I hit my head a little bit I was a bit bit dizzy and feeling quite nauseous afterwards so I didn't do much else for the rest of the day just kind of got to the finish as steadily as possible I, I didn't think it was the right thing to do is try and push uh, while the body was feeling like that so just got myself to the finish got checked out and thankfully everything's everything's a-okay for tomorrow I think the guys were pretty sensible today actually I think I mean there wasn't a neutralization by the race organizers but the front of the race everyone realized how big a crash it was and how many how many people were on the deck the guys eased up stopped attacking just allowed everyone to kind of get their bikes changed let people pick themselves up off the road get patched up by the medical car and it's probably a good 10-15 minutes of kind of time out where guys said okay well yeah we don't need to be idiots here let's let's just do the sensible thing and that was just to ride nice and nice and easy for 10, 15 minutes, allow people to get back into the, the race again. And then uh, gradually uh, the attack started again. We, we had Omer in there today, fighting it out for the stage win. He had a, a quite a tough job. He was in the break with uh, Thibaut Pinot, Superman Lopez from Astana, who got the better of everyone and actually ended up uh, staying away, winning the stage. Hopefully finish this race off tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very short stage, only 115 odd kilometers, so not very long at all. Just from a very sort of personal perspective, I've been been really happy with how how the legs are feeling. I, I feel a big progression in the last month. Uh, more more comfortable just being um, being there on the climbs. Uh, not quite not quite obviously making that uh, first GC group, but. Being there when the bunch is down to sort of 30, 40 guys is a big step up from where I've come from in this last month. So pretty happy with, with how the feelings are, uh, given obviously I had a late start to the season. Very much looking at this as like a, a progression, a stepping stone uh, approach to, to building up to, to the main goals of the season later on this summer. Every day here has just been full gas racing. From that side, I think it's it's been really good because it's it's a race that it's going to help move all of us on. You get this race in the legs, it's going to give you that, that next level of intensity to, to go on to, to another event. And that's that's the Tour of Romandie for me uh, next week. So a couple, couple days to rest up and travel over to Switzerland. Get a bit more racing in the legs now uh, before, before I go back home and focus on the next block of training. Uh, maybe get another altitude camp in. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Racing, training, racing, training.
pretty cool time of year when all these fields are in full bloom like that. Tour of Romandy up next. The race starts off with a short, sharp five kilometer prologue and then uh, into five road stages and finishing up with a time trial next Sunday. Yeah, looking forward to the next one. I think Tour of Alps was, uh, was a great race, enjoyed that. Um, just two days now to recover up and uh, turn the legs a little bit ahead of uh, starting again at Romney. Just finished up the last uh, road stage over here in Romandy. There have been some big days, big days these last few days. Today especially was was the big queen stage. A uh, lot of lot of climbing. I think it was over over four thousand meters of climbing. Yesterday we had a, a great stage with uh, Paddy Bevan taking the taking the sprint for the win. Great feeling when when you can be part of that and you can do a little bit of a little bit of a job to to help him get to the final a little bit more fresh and see it pay off with a result like that so that was that was a good day for the team and we also had Chris Nalands in, in the breakaway collecting all the king of the mountain points along the way so he he got himself into the the mountain jersey which was which was fun nice little objective to have as well for today the last uh, big mountain stage tried to get him in the breakaway but um, unfortunately he was in the one the one move before the one that actually got away so he he missed missed that that's bike racing it happens i mean you can't be in can't be in every move uh he was really eager to be there but um just missed out on that one that last day at the time trial Tour of Romandy was it was quite good fun actually. I mean that was a real I'd say that was a real team effort. Our main guys for the day were Woody, Jacob Vogelsang, who were who were still um, on the general classification. So they they had the two uh, basically support cars following them. For my time trial, we we didn't have another race car with a race director following, just because of numbers and timings and everything else. So we had to clear with the UCI first that we were going to use a van instead of the race car because our race cars were following the other guys. We are with Chris, John as driver. So I had Chris Tups, my soigneur, uh, physio, who, who helps me out. More good the door is open. Okay, stop, 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 stop. He was in charge of the bike change, holding my bike and getting it to me and giving me a massive push. <laughs> Actually, I think I ended up with probably the fastest bike change of the day. I mean, literally, that door was open. I was up, up and going again in, in less than 10 seconds. I mean, it'd be interesting to go and count. It wouldn't have been more than three, three to five seconds team the team did a fantastic job but um yeah i, th I think with uh w with it being the exception that we were we, we were basically forced to use a van because we didn't have the race cars or anything else um i can definitely see the uci putting a stop to changes bike changes from vans in the future going forwards <laughs> Fun little fact about this area. I mean, uh, yeah, I've done Tour of Romandy a whole bunch of times, but uh, it's it's also where the UCI center is based in Eagle. Before I turned pro, I spent a, s a stint of probably the best part of six months with the UCI development squad. That was an extremely instrumental time, I think, in my career. And it was probably thanks, a lot of thanks to that, that six month stint doing races like Giro di Regioni, my first stage race in Europe, where where I won a stage and uh, came second on another stage and crashed a bunch of times as well. Giro di Regioni, GP Tell, I was just looking at the results now. Uh, Jakob Fuglsang was, was third, I was fourth. We didn't even know each other back then and actually didn't even figure out that we did that race together until until this afternoon. It's been, it's been really cool racing in this area. 
<laughs> we were we were talking today. I think I think the last Romandy where we had good weather all week, uh, we didn't get rained on. I mean, we had a little bit of a shower today, but we we really dodged a bullet. I mean, it could have been could have been nasty. I mean, we we're up above fifteen hundred meters, and uh, with these conditions and snow out there, it it turns icy very quickly. So we we really dodged a bullet this week. We didn't 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 get wet at all. We had amazing weather, which is. Uh, almost unheard of in this race. I think the last time we were just talking about it now in the car on the way back. Last time I think was 2012. So 10 years ago that we had good weather in this race. So we were all saying, yeah, we're going to uh, definitely miss next year's edition because it's going to be another 10 years until, <laughs> until we get another sunny tour of Romandy like this again. It's been hard work this week, but um, Good, good morale on the team. The guys have been, everyone's been getting stuck in. Everyone's been doing as much as they can for, for the leaders. And personally, I, I think I've, I've got a lot out of this race as well. Um, I think this, this racing is helping to, to move me forward. And I'm, I'm certainly seeing a lot more progression than, than I've seen uh, last season, for example. So things are headed in the right direction. It's nice to see the body responding though. It's, it's, I'm already making a lot more headway than I made in, in the last couple couple of years already. The body's working the way it should. So now, now I just need to do the work, do the hard miles, do the hard training, lose a little bit more weight and um, keep things heading in the right direction. Onwards and upwards. Thanks a lot for following along with me at the Tour of Alps and the Tour de Romandie. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button to be notified of any future content I put out there. Take care, everyone.